Hey everybody and welcome to Snohomish, Washington, Deep Southern. Welcome. So the snow geese are way out there in the distance and I've been watching them go back and forth across the sky here. And let me zoom in way out there. And I think you'll be able to see and just appreciate how many of them there are. There are, as I said in the title, they are on the move. And that is but a fraction of the many thousand that are in flight right now. Kind of looks like a uh, pepper. <laughs> on a salt and pepper sky there, if you will. Hey, Jeff. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kind of pan to the right and show you more of these. I know they're way out there, but there are thousands of them in flight right now. It's been interesting to observe them. This is in Snohomish, Washington. And that is to our west just on the opposite side of Highway 9, State Route 9, which runs north-south. And what's been really interesting about watching them just now is that's where I saw them in flight about five minutes ago. And what they did was, as a group, they flew east. Hey, Ivani! They flew this direction out there looking to the north, but they were traveling east, left to right. They went way over here. And now they've just doubled back. So let's go back and zoom in on them and you can just get an appreciation that's just the leading edge of them right now. Isn't that cool, Deep Southern? So the question becomes, where will they ultimately put down? They could come this way. We'll see. You're hearing the plane, no doubt. Okay, that's not all of the snow geese, but that's a good many of them. So while I was watching the plane, some of them must have put down in the field, I would think. So I wouldn't be surprised if these landed in the fields just off in that direction there. But let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Isn't that cool, you guys? Okay, they're a bit closer now. Hey, Deb. Thanks, Mattis. So this is... Now, what we're looking at now is how I first noticed them was they were about in that direction right there and they traveled left to right. That's uh, west to east. So they seem to be repeating that behavior. They're just not sure where they want to put down just yet. So they're going to fly over atop a, a barn in the foreground here, which makes for a nice shot. So I'm going to get that shot set up with the DSLR. Oh, there's a group joining them. Look at that from the right to the left. See, now they're crisscrossing. How about that? Let's get this barn shot, though. This is exactly what they did about 10 minutes ago. It looks like they might be putting down. Oh, they're going back up. Let's zoom in and find them again. Okay, I think they're going to continue. And this road off to our right here is Springetti Road. And I have a feeling they're going to cross the road again. Fly over it, that is. Yeah, they're continuing right towards Harvey Field. And... A lot of plane activity at Harvey Field today. There are the geese. Don't they, Deb? Now I'm going to zoom out and cross the road, get a clear shot of them all here. Hang on. Okay. 
All right, they're way out there now. Let's just look on the fringe of this tree right here to the left. You can see waves of them still coming in. From Morocco, nice to have you here. I know they're way out there, you guys, but here against the white clouds over here, you can make them out a bit more. This is in Washington State in the U.S. We're about 30 miles north of Seattle, Washington, a town called Snohomish. And we're in the Snohomish Valley, and these geese in the valley um, have migrated here from Russia. They spend the late fall and winter here, and they've got all these fertile farm fields that they like to uh, spend their time at here throughout the, this time of year. So we've just lost sight of them. So they've probably put down in a field out that way, which makes me inclined to go look for them. But let me just give you a look at the weather out here. We got a really, uh, no, they're in the area. They'll be here for, I imagine, at least a few more weeks, if not more than a month. They tend to arrive in October, mid to late October, early November from Wrangell Island, Russia. But let me just show you the scenery here. And then they'll, they're going to head uh, back north probably in the next few weeks to just over a month, I would imagine. Been observing them here for years, so kind of used to the, the patterns, as well as in Skagit County to the north, which is where most of the geese that fly here from Wrangell Island, Russia. Yeah, it's February, yeah. They tend to be here into February and even early March. Oh, is that right? Is that the case in different? So we got some nice light here, some beautiful clouds. I'll show you a bald eagle nest in the distance here. Put it right at the center of your screen, near the top of that tree. Right there. And looking to the west-southwest in advance of tonight's sunset. All right, so I'm going to go off and uh, see if I can locate the geese. I know basically the places they like to hang out. So in that direction, they're kind of between here and Highway 2. We'll go see if I can find them if I get to them. Uh, and we still have some light. I'll go live on Periscope again. Thanks so much for checking out the scope, everybody. Hope you have a great day. So long, everybody.